Hi, I'm Michael. Uh, and today we're going to share with you a game called Just Grinning. Now, to play this game, you need paper and pencil for each player. You can play this with two or more people. Uh, you need a 10 sided dice, so a dice that goes from 0 to 9. If you're at home, you don't have one of these dice, a deck of cards will work equally well. Uh, go from aces to nines and use your queens to zeros. Take out the other cards and you can just randomly pick a card, see a queen one of rolling a five. So a deck of cards is a good substitute. And you need something to act as a barrier between the players. So we're just going to use a uh, picture storybook as a barrier. All right, now the way the game works is we've got this little grid ruled up. Now Nash and I are going to play four rounds and we, that means we go up as big as a four digit number. There's no reason why you'd have to stop here. If you wanted to make it simpler, you could go three rounds to a three digit number. If you want to make it more complex, you could go five rounds to five digit number, etc., etc. On each round, you're gonna roll the dice as many times as you need to, and each player is gonna put that digit where they think is the best spot to put the digit. The aim of the game at the end, we're gonna add up these four numbers and the winner is going to be the person with the biggest total. Yeah. So you're trying to make the biggest number in each line as you go. All right, Nash, let's start. Round one's easy because whatever we roll, we both put in the top. I got an eight. We got eight. So write it in. Okay. okay, now round two, there's a bit more of a decision to be made. So the first number is, the first digit's a one, Nash. That's easy. And the second digit is a six. And then round three, we've got three choices to make. So we started off with a three. Three. Then we've got uh, another three. And then we got a two. Oh, I get a five. Interesting. All right, and then the fourth round, we've got four numbers, four digits. Okay, so we start off with a four. A four. Then we got a zero. A three. Mm, I'm not making the biggest number you can. <laughs> and a two. <laughs> okay. okay, so once we've filled out each of the four um, rows, now the final part of the game is you need to add up your four numbers to get your total. Okay, so Nash has done his adding up, and um, I've added up mine in a different way. So the final step of the game is to actually compare the numbers and to work out who won. So Nash, who won the game? Me. Now, how do you know? This is a, this is a really important question. What digit helps us to decide that? So I have two. You have two. Two um, what? Two thousand. Yes. I have six six hundred. You have six hundred. I have 42, you only have 6, and 42 is bigger than 6. If I was going to circle one digit in each of the numbers, which is the digit I should circle to compare? 4 and 0. So the 4 tens and the 0 tens is the crucial part to tell us. Mm -hmm. So Nashi wins that game. Okay. So that's just gridding. Uh, very easy to play. You can see lots of good place value, addition stuff happening there. Um, so we hope you enjoy. Bye. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.